Hey guys, Fearsome Rubber Ducky here with some Hybrid Musket Buccaneer. New strategy that I've been seeing around. I kind of wanted to perfect it and uh, I'll see what I could do with it. It'd be fun. So, yeah, go. I'm going to be facing my first match, which is the Musketeer. Uh, a couple of things, he has Soul Shroud and since I do not have a Witch Hunt, that might be a problem. So I'm still figuring out all that. Should I train the extra burst fire or should I train witch hunt? So I'm thinking burst fire will be more useful for PvP, but uh, witch hunt for 1v1 for sure. So still trying to figure that out. Alright, here we go. Do that 10 round buff. Don't want to do Highland so soon. I mean, I do it just to pressure him. Yeah. Okay. This time she doesn't have Elusive 5. Last two matches she had Elusive 5 and I could not hit her with my feet. So, it was pretty nasty. Okay. Move my Bonnie Ann into Ratbeard's range so I can get some chains off of him. Good. Not a whole lot of Buccaneers use Bonnie Ann, but uh, he's a really great companion. Particularly when you face musketeers. Especially ones that like to camp. Yeah, but this one doesn't uh, camp as much as the other ones that I know do. So, I don't use the bunker strategy as much. So, it's not going to be quite as much of an issue for them, but still, funny and for chaining down rat here is going to be good. This one does like to use trees though. So, which is annoying. Alright, there we go. That was a fortunate position for my pet because I'm going to go ahead and port my Pete and send my Exter through, bypass his hold the line, and overwatch. Yeah, I'm going to chain Rat Beard at the same time. Uh, yeah, I'll reduce, I'll reduce for the overwatch later on. Okay, here we go. Time for the buff. And the board. Perfect sequencing. And she is Overwatch 2 train. Means if she does bounding Overwatch, her um, Eggster and uh, her Pirate uh, have Overwatch 3, and it's pretty nasty when she does that. So, we're gonna get Emmett out of the way. I keep calling him Emmett, his name's Eggster. It's not agility based. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, well, I didn't quite kill him. I see trees coming. Trees are coming. So yeah, that that right there is how you bypass, hold the line, and Overwatch. You you uh, move through a um a companion or summon or a pet of yours and. <laughs> Uh, you move through it where the, where the space that it would that um, Overwatch hold the line or um, repel borders would trigger. You walk through where it's already triggered <laughs> on a companion summon or pet, <laughs> and that's how you bypass it. So yeah, a lot of people uh, they don't do that. So all right, let's just get some double taps on Emmett. Yeah, let's get some double taps on Emmett here finish him off so he doesn't try and heal him or anything like that. Yeah, I better fork first. Go ahead and kill one of those trees. Yeah, there we go. And I'll kill one tree with Pete Super Strike so I can get two blade storms. Should probably be mostly worried about that pet actually because it has webs. Do not like webs at all. Alright, here we go. Oh, another super. Epic, okay. Well, I'll be chill. Maybe. Well, I'm actually going to speed this part up, okay? There goes the buff. 
Rap it reduce. Pete can't hit anything, but he still manages to hit because he's Pete. Ouch. Well, my Pete's dead. Oh yeah, he still has that forward on. Toro goes crazy with the chain. There go some tree stuff. I sped it up because you know the, the trees they take time to move. Uh, those are not knocks, I don't think. Okay, good, good, good. They aren't. I usually have my sound turned off. I'm usually listening to some other music uh, instead of Pirate 101. So when knocks come, then I usually miss it, <laughs> which is not a good thing. But yeah. <laughs> All right, well, she survives that because she has elusive four. Trying to finish off my Pete, but my Pete still has that forward on, so. You know, Toro still has that, that cloud spirit, so he's going to slaughter some trees before he dies. Eat. Now, I was mostly worried about those quick draws there, but for some reason my pirate tends to dodge them. So, I don't know if the quick draw is going to be a problem or not. Oh, oh ouch. Ouch, dang. <laughs> Rapier, that cheap shot really got you in trouble. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, this, um... This uh, musketeer's actually beaten some uh, some pretty good buccaneers, um, Reckless Christopher and um, Brian Xavier. Well, he's fairly good. Um, and my buccaneer, he, he beat me last. Uh, no, the match before last match. So his win rate versus me is uh, well. That's uh, how, how many matches? Uh, two matches, and he's he's won. No, he's won one match out of three, so yeah, well, <laughs> that was an interesting video. I'm um, going to be experimenting more with this strategy, uh, that, um, that uncanny shot um, that you saw in my deck. Um, hopefully I'm going to show some videos where I use that more often. That's going to be mostly useful versus swashbucklers, because if you hit them with that, they can't dodge your attacks, and a full chain from a buccaneer will... Um, will will pretty much uh, one-shot a, a swashbuckler, even if they have a four on. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nasty. I'm going to use that when they go and hide, and well, there'll be no escaping. So I'm probably going to have trouble with Soul Shroud. But then again, I'll probably train um, Witch Hunt and get rid of the second burst fire. But uh, yeah, I'm liking the chain so far. If y'all have any other suggestions for any crazy ideas I might try out, if they're plausible, uh, I might do it. So, <laughs> might go back to hybrid melee musketeer for a bit, and uh, yeah, that, that's a that's a really fun class to play. Well, anyway, that is it for this video, and peace out for now.